okay viewers welcome back to Ray's Way and if you're new thanks for stopping by now in this episode of Ray's Way I got some brand new content coming your way so let's get started okay viewers this modification we're gonna do here we're gonna take this front I don't know air dam whatever this is now this is on the sports version and maybe the SR5s I know the uh, TRD Pro and the TRD Off-Road do not have that on there. You know, they say if you take it off, you know, you may notice some uh, increased fuel consumption or whatever. I, I think it's minimal to none. I think once you get that out of there, it's going to give it more, uh, uh, make it look like it's uh, lifted and so forth. Maybe get get you a better appearance. So, I um, mean, yeah, I do like how the... Um, the off the, the uh, TRD Pro and the uh, TRD Off Road look without it, so we'll put that look on this uh, TDR Pro. So all it is you need is a 10 inch, uh, not a 10 inch, 10 millimeter socket, and there's nine bolts. So one on the end and seven across the front. So let me get that taken apart and we'll show you what it looks like. Okay, viewers, there's the air dam or whatever you want to call that um, there was actually 11 um, bolts in there that had to come off so you know I miscounted so if you knew what I do for a living um, you'd be surprised about that but anyways if you look at the front you know what do you think you know drop it in the comment section you know does it look meaner with it or does it look better without that uh, you know Better with or better without, you make the call. Now, I know there's a big draw to the third generation Tacoma world out there, so leave it in the comments. Let me know what, you know, you know. did you take this off your uh, TDR Pro? Did you notice any fuel consumption increase or, you know, was it a negative thing to take it off? Yes, the skid, the skid plate is more exposed and so forth, but, um, you know, I'm getting this... Uh, uh, rust proofed but I'll, I'll um, you know give you more on that on another uh, episode so um, what do you think let me know put it in the comments so uh, like share subscribe hit that notification bell and uh, we'll have some other videos coming up shortly uh, several modifications that I want to be doing here that was just a quick and easy one and we'll see you next time on Ray's Way okay viewers second thought I ended up putting it back on the uh, truck when I was deciding that that when I was taking the vehicle to go get the undercoat on there from New Hampshire oil undercoating I decided to put that back on because that that in itself is going to protect the undercarriage a little bit more than with it being off you know it so since I live in a rust belt, a lot of the uh, grime from the road and salt and so forth, all that slush is going to get kicked up. And it's going to get caught on here a lot more than the undercarriage and the uh, skid plate and so forth. So for that reason, I reinstalled it. And uh, I think that's probably the best choice. Yes, if you know you don't live in a rust belt... Eh, it may look better without on there, but in this case the purpose is going to help protect the undercarriage even though I still got um, It undercut of course uh, Anything skipping up rocks what what have you will help protect the uh, undercarriage um, I would think anyways, so there you go put it back on uh, Throw it in the comments. What do you think? So let me know if you know if you live in a rust belt and did you take this off your Tacoma? And uh, how did it fare in the winter with it being off? Let me know.